three days later. Hey everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today we're going to be checking out the 15 year anniversary of one of my favorite discs. What I have to share with you guys today is the 15 year edition Latitude 64 core. This is a straight to understable mid-range that honestly is right in there to potentially crack my top three favorite mid-ranges of all time. I actually had never thrown like a new run core. I guess they changed production a little bit from the old run cores. I picked these two guys up off of a used bin recently. I've got an old opto run and then a really old gold line one that I suspect is at least 10 years old at this point. So with this being the new 15 year edition, I'm sure there's a lot of core throwers out there that are curious, does the new run fly similar or comparable to the old run? And then for those of you who have never thrown the core, I at least wanna show this disc off for you guys because I feel like it has a really, really comfortable side profile. This new opto plastic is really, really high quality. The stamp is pretty cool. It's got that sort of nuclear looking Jimmy Neutron type particle on it. Very, very cool but nice, slightly domey, beadless, straight to understable mid-range. It's one of my favorite personal slots to throw. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the gold line and then we'll throw the old opto followed by the new opto. I do like that the new opto is in a much brighter color than my old opto. So let's see how all these guys compare. The core is always gonna give you that just dead straight flight with a slight fade at the end. And if you throw it with a lot more power, you're gonna get a lot more turn out of it. So it's one of those like workhorse style discs that you can throw on a lot of different lines. I was a little bit powered up, but you can see it's getting a true like minus 1.5, minus two flight in the mid flight, holding a turn for a long way through the flight and discs like this are just super fun to throw because it's so easy to get them to like pop up and really perform for you and fly the way you want it to. All right, 15 year anniversary. Let's see how she flies. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that pretty much flies true to the old runs and possibly even a tick more stable. Let's go throw it a few more times. And I feel like a good number of you guys saw the video I uploaded just the other day, um, just before I ran my half marathon this Saturday. This is the first time I've thrown since then. But when I went and filmed that video, I was out throwing at night. I actually turned this thing over. I threw it from right here, turned it over, went into the water. The water was super high. Thankfully today, I went and checked. The water was like two feet lower, crystal clear. This thing was just sitting right in the water. So happily, I'm happy we got this back because I literally lost it after throwing it one time. So it was meant to be for me to get this review out to you guys. But let's see how all of these guys fly with a little bit more power, but we'll try not to turn it over into the drink. So that's more of like a power hyzer shot. I love discs that I can get to sort of hyzer flip to straight or turnover, or if you put them on a lot of hyzer or throw them with low power, you can get so many different shot shapes out of it. And that's why I like the core so much because it's a single disc that you can get three or four different shot shapes out of. And I feel like that's something really handy that it's kind of an art that's almost disappearing in the new style of game. A lot of players will have like 25 discs for each different shot. But I feel like back when I started, people would bag maybe one, two or three of the same disc under different levels of wear and tear, but throw the same mold for a bunch of different shot shapes or just throw one disc on a bunch of different angles to get all the different flights you're looking for. That was kind of Simon's thing back in the day. Not People don't really do that as much anymore. Beauty, absolute beauty. If you've never thrown a core, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you're, it's likely, you know, you're missing out on something. It's just such a solid workhorse mid, slightly domey, so it gets a nice bit of distance. And I'm actually really impressed Apparently some of the new runs in the chameleon plastic feel like a different mold. That 15 year edition feels to me exactly like the old mold. So those of you who like the old mold should definitely go pick up a 15 year. And that kind of tan opto one seems to be a bit more stable than the gold line and the 15 year. All right, let's power up on these guys just a little bit more. We will throw the gold line, then we'll throw the old opto followed by the new opto. 
I'm really excited to see how this guy is flying in comparison to the old Opto. People absolutely loved these two runs. The gold lines are a little more flat. The Optos are a little more domey. So you kind of a really nice like, you know, one, two punch, one slightly straighter, one slightly more stable. Let's see how they fly a little bit higher on like a touch of a left to right Anheuser moving line here. Oh, I was worried about hitting the pole. That's bad news. Don't worry, we'll make the correction here. Throw it right at that golf flag on left to right moving shot. So you can see once you get them turning, they're gonna stay turned over. Let's uh, let's make the correction here. Let's throw this thing a little bit more out to the left. There it is. Wow, that new run is awesome. The new run might, it's definitely a little more stable than the gold line, but I feel like it's extremely comparable to the old Opto, which I feel like is one of the most popular runs for that cult following of the core that I mentioned earlier. So it wouldn't be an Iceberg TV review if I didn't at least throw a couple of forehands. So let's throw a few flicks out there, show you guys how they forehand. I'm just gonna pop them out on a little bit of hyzer and see what happens. That's a nice flight. Actually a bit more stable than I was expecting. All right, let's see the Opto. This one's a little domier, doesn't feel quite as good as that gold line did. Yeah, that was a that was a me problem right there. That one's probably a hair more domey than this one. This one feels a little bit better on the flip. Let's see if we can't punch one right close to that tee box up there. Oh, that little bit of flip up is so nice. Wow, surprising stability even on the forehand. I'm really impressed with the new run. So much better feeling in my hand for the flick than the old opto line you guys know i like putting you on to some really cool molds that you may never have heard of before so if you like when i sort of uncover and share some underrated molds with you guys make sure you hit the like button let me know in the comments below if you like this type of content and i'll continue to try and put more content like this out for you guys i want to shout out my sponsors disc golf deals usa they are the main sponsor of the channel you can click the link in the description below to save 10 percent on any disc golf disc so just click the link, access my storefront, and boom, just like that, you're going to save 10% on any disc over at the website. Anyway, stay humble, live with gratitude. See you guys in the next video, and take care.